Let's have a quick check in on the Brooklyn Nets now. Karis Levert, we know, is out and is probably going to be out until the 2019 portion of the season. Probably looking at you know, end of January would be my guess in terms of his return. So let's look at what's happened with this Nets team. They did make a change last game. Rondé Hollis Jefferson entered the starting lineup for Jared Dudley. But I'm not sure that Hollis Jefferson is someone that I'd consider a must-roster 10-team league guy. He's pretty borderline for 12-team leagues. He has his limitations. We're still going to see Dudley play some minutes in this rotation, and Hollis Jefferson's not going to be the number one or number two or number three option, really, on this team offensively. And that's going to limit what he can do. His steal rate has really uh, stalled. It's never really you know, taken off after his rookie season. I think he's a real borderline 12-team league guy. The guy who's really benefited from the absence of Levert is D'Angelo Russell, who's a top 35 player over the last two weeks, averaging 21, 4, and 6. And also Spencer Dinwiddie, who's climbed into the top 70, averaging 19, 2.5 with 6.5 assists, shooting the ball really well. So there's, a, there's perhaps a chance that his shooting could drop off 48% from the field, a guy that was uh, struggling to get to 40% last season. Jared Allen also has been a little bit up and down, only averaging one block per game over his last six. So there's still scope for improvement. He's a clear top 100 guy. And then other players who some people thought you know, may be getting this standard league boost in the absence of Levert, Alan Crabb, uh, Jumpin' Joe Harris, and Damari Carroll. All of those guys are outside the top 175. Crabb in particular is really, really struggling with his shooting. He's hitting three, so he's a streamer in that area. But Harris and Carroll are nowhere near your 12-team formats. All of these guys are more 14, but probably more accurately 16-team league players. The one guy I want to watch on this team long-term is Rowdy Rodion's Kuroks, who has shown some significant flashes. The minutes aren't really there. He's playing more in the G League than on, on the big team. But I could see at some point, if trades do go down with this Nets team, that we could see Kuroks play a larger role later in the season. And he has a, a really interesting fantasy-type game for now, it's more dynasty leagues, but he is the name to watch on this squad when uh, when things do change up later in the season.